Hi everyone, we are Airsoft Taiwan. Today we have a new product from the VFC, it's the SR25 GBB. And uh, it comes with the SR25 itself, the magazine, and the user manual, and of course a BB loader inside. And now let's start to take a look about this SR25. The VFC has these trademarks from the Night Arms, so they have correct outlookings and trade logos. So this one, the outlooking will, will be the perfect because they are manufactured from the VFC, right? And as for those materials, um, the flash hider or the model brake is made of steel and so does the outer barrel, so they are quite durable. And as for the front end, it's the URX front end and they are made of aluminum. It comes with the floating barrels inside, so it's accurate but it's also made of aluminum, so it's very light. Though it's very light, but it still offer you the Picatinny rails, whatever the right side of this weapon, or the top side, or the rear, uh, left side, and the bottom. So inside this user menus, they also tell you how to mount the bipod, and they have their adapters. And they also offer a feature about this weapon is they have the flip up side. And this flip-up side is 45 degrees. And they replicate those details from the real fire arms. So in the rear side, they also can adjust the, the elevators from the 200 meter to 600 meters. So it's truly functional. But according to the GBB design, it's basically uh, have the hold up function. So actually, when you engage your enemy and use this 45 degrees side the BB bullet actually will go into this direction but I think they still can able to take out the enemies maybe 10 to 15 meters away from you but you have to move your side to the rear side okay and the next is the magazine the magazine actually they according to the user manual it can carry about 30 rounds BB bullet and because the real firearms they use the 7.62 caliber Admission. So actually, the sixty, uh, the six millimeters inside the magazine, actually, um, you can store more green gas inside this magazine. So it should be have a better gas efficient when you fire this weapon. And then let's take a look about the user user interface. Whatever the select levers, the bolt release or the magazine release. They are ambidexter design. So if you want to upgrade whatever you're the right hand shooter or the left hand shooter, I turn to the other side so you can realize actually they are ambidexter design for the mag release or the bolt release or the selector levers. So this is truly useful and they are friendly to the left hand shooter. And of course the stock it has five positions. So this one it's a good choice for you, whatever you are collector or you are walking player. And as for the whole up adjust system, they are also hide inside the case piston system. Once you insert this 2.5 hex wrench from the top from the front end of this gas piston, when you drive this whole um, this hex through driver, the whole gas tube will rotate then drive the adjust the wheels inside this hob up chamber so once you turn into this direction this will increase the hob up and once you rotate to the other direction that will decrease the hob up setting and now i feel strip this weapon and let's take a look about the bolt carrier this is a huge bolt carrier because in real fire arms it's fire 7.62 caliber ammunition and as for the materials used in the war game version, the BB gun, the, this part is made of steel, but other parts are made of aluminum. But the, there's a feature about this one is the bow stop will always engage this corner, right? So they have reinforced this part, so this magnet will attach right here. This mode this aluminum bolt carrier more durable. And as for the weight of out this bow carrier, it weighs about 314 or 15 grams. And then we test the air seal. The air seal is great. So when you fire the BB bullet, actually the green gas has only two directions to go. The first is used to propel the BB bullet, and another direction is push this bow carrier to the rear and kick your shoulder. And as for the charge handle, 
The chart gentle is a traditional design, it's not ambidexter design. And now let's take a look about this trigger set. Once we fuse this weapon, we can see these internals. The first we test is the hammer. The hammer is made of steel, and so does the sear. But as for the select levers, it's not made of steel. But then we talk about the trigger, it's made of steel too. And so does the mag release and the bolt catch. When we turn to the other side, look about the bolt release and the mag release, they are also made of steel. Then the last is the fire pin. The fire pins hide below this uh, bolt catch. So we use this magnet. The fire pin is also made of steel too. You can see that, right? So the trigger set is actually totally reinforced except this uh, slack lever. Okay, now we want to test the recoil and the FPS. The test sample is the VLC SR25 GBB and use point BB and green gas. We want to test three shots. And here is the first shot. Okay. The FPS reached about 464 and the recoil amazingly reached about 6.5. Okay, and then the next shot. The FPS reached about 453 and the recoil kicks nearly 7.6. And the last shot. The FPS reached about 452 and the recoil kicks nearly 7.4. So, averagely, this gun kicks nearly about 7. It's a huge kick. And the FPS stay in 45 and 450. So, this SR25 is actually kicking like a beast and has a good FPS. And the outlooking is oh, extremely realistic. So if you like this product, please order from the Airsoft Taiwan online shop. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.